What up? Yeah. 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 Steve, what did you just roll? <sighs> so much for my save against transformations. Yeah. Yeah! Bard detected. I repeat, mm. bard detected. Not the bard. Oh, what's that you say? It's chaos time. It sure is. It's time for a Chaos Card Reading. Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's Chaos Card Reading for the week beginning April the 3rd. This is the Fortune Teller's Cat. I am the Fortune Telling Cat. So, let's go and see what the cards have to say for us this week. Let's have a shuffle. Let's have a riffle. And let's do... Energy into the week, energy of the week, energy out of the week. Let's see what we've got. Coming into the week. Ooh. Coming into the week, we have Black telling us to exercise due care. Black is the color of courage, and virtue, and the pursuit of justice against the odds. Uh, keywords of Black are courage, determination, strength, and resilience. Exercise due care. Keep yourself on your toes as you come into this week. During the week itself, the course of the week is, ooh, strong portent of pink, which is the color of victory. Triumph and uh, fallen opponents lamenting their mistakes and challenging you. So if we are careful coming into the week, it's going to go real well for us, I reckon. And then as we finish the week, we leave with a notable outcome. Pink is got a lot to say this week and uh, all the good. So April 3, come in careful and... Uh, Go out gloriously. This has been the reading for the week of April the 3rd from your fortune teller's cat. From that to this. Yorick. You're watching The House of Cat. G'day, I'm this cat and I'm on the road in The House of Cat. And I'm in pursuit of the next big thing. Now, Coffs Harbour is a good location because it gives us two very specific big things. The first on the list is, well, this is one where there's a bit of a moral quandary involved. On the surface, the big windmill feels like it should count as a big thing. Now, the thing about the big windmill is, I've stayed there before a couple of times, it's a really decent hotel. Uh, Coffs Harbour is a good waypoint if you're driving to and from Sydney or you're driving to and from Canberra. So I like the place. Like that's where part of the quandary comes. I genuinely like the big windmill as a hotel. The thing is, it's on the big things list and it gives itself the name, the big windmill. But you have to ask the question, is it in fact just a windmill of usual size? In the pursuit of the big things, this raises, again, the question, what is the next big thing? This is the big windmill. It is, by name, big, but it's a windmill. And they ain't no small things in the first place. So the question really is, is this one of Australia's next big things? Or is this a windmill of actual size? Should this be in the new category of large objects that are large, but are actual sized? And again, the quandary is, if it's the big windmill, because that's what makes it really an attraction here, is like, I'm going to go stay at the big windmill hotel because it's got a big windmill. Is calling it the windmill of actual size taking away from their business positioning? Is it taking away from what they are trying to be as a tourist place? It's also a really nice hotel. I just want to say, if you are coming through Coffs Harbour and you've got a couple of nights and you want somewhere kind of large, uh, the rooms are really big. It's quite spacious. It's really nice. Also, this place saved me at least on two road trips for being able to check in after midnight for a hotel that night. So I really like this place, but at the end of the day, in the next big things, this is actual science. This is a windmill of actual science. And now from this to that. Paw versus Claw. 
the rules. 0 points for a miss, 1 point to touch, 2 points for a move, 3 points for a grab, 5 points for the prize. Player 1. This cast. Round 1. Round two. Access denied. Round three. Access denied. Player two, that cat. Round one. Round two. Access denied. Round three. Victory Cat. One point for Team Cass scoreboard. Team Cass draws level with Team Cat. Two points each. Hello friends, I'm this cat, you've been watching the House of Cat, that was episode 5, season 2, we're halfway through the second series, and at 15 episodes in, we're probably longer running than most BBC sitcoms from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So with that, this episode featured Team Cassette versus A Machine of Donuts, and Donut Denied was the order of the day. Uh, the next big thing continued its way back up the coastline as we started to ask the hard questions as to what makes a big thing a big thing. And, of course, our beloved Chaos Cards took the weekend off and they're probably going to take next week off as well because if there's one thing we've now learnt is Chaos Cards don't do public holidays. And with that, I've been your cat, you've been my audience, and Cass's audience as well because it's Team Cassette all the way. Let's throw now to the closing credits. Voice AI, take it away. Well, I had fun, and I hope you did too. This was the House of Cat, and thank you for being part of our show.
think this is the way I want to go. Well, it's the way I'm going. All right. 